so oops, that's a little bright it's surgery day guys um i just got up got dressed and we're about to head out in like 10 minutes so uh feeling okay still hopeful that my husband can come with me into the hospital but uh we'll see um yeah so i guess i'll be chronicling today wish me luck Can come back with me. We'll see how far he can go. <laughs> so, guys, I have made it through the day. I had surgery earlier today, it's about 8 30 p.m. Um, Lots of gas pain. Uh, they've been giving me pain meds. Um, feeling a little nauseous sometimes, like when I get up. I took a walk earlier. Um, they may want me to take another one later on today. Um, but yeah, so far so good, even though um, I'm not feeling the absolute best right now. But. Uh, I'm here. Hopefully I'll get discharged tomorrow and things will be all good. So just checking in. Surgery day. Um, they wouldn't let me take my camera, um, my phone with me um, when I was getting checked in and everything. So that's why this is the first time you're hearing from me uh, quite some time after surgery because I've been asleep all day. So right now I'm just kind of sitting on the edge of the bed and um, talking to you guys. So, so far so good. So guys, uh, today's day two. I am about to check out of the hospital. Um, I'm feeling okay, just trying to get my four ounces of liquid in. Um, still in a little pain, still have a little gas like in my chest little pressure in my chest. Um, ready to be home because I'm extremely tired. Um, I didn't really sleep that well in the hospital because they're constantly like coming and doing testing and everything or taking your, you know, vitals. So I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep. But otherwise I've walked around a little bit. Um, like I said, I ate breakfast and lunch so I'm gonna try to get my, some more liquids in this uh, afternoon I mean this evening when I get home and and sleep that's pretty much my main goal because I'm, I'm I'm way too tired so day two uh, got all my meds and I'm just waiting for my husband to pick me up well hello there family um today is friday i don't even know the date it's friday after the surgery uh so this is like the third day after the surgery i am back at home i only stayed one night in the hospital and i was able to go home on wednesday afternoon um so far 
I've been home, been able to keep my liquids down. The first couple of days, I definitely had issues with nausea and like just feeling nauseous all the time. So I have nausea medication. So the medications I have um, to take are a pain medicine, um, a nausea medicine. I have a uh, blood thinner uh, to prevent blood clots. So that's a shot I have to take for 10 days. And then I have like an antacid to coat my stomach that they gave me. And I have to take that for three months. So um, I actually thought it would be hard to get the pills down, but I started taking the pills in the hospital and they weren't that difficult to get down while I was in the hospital. So um, I've been walking around trying to get the gas out. Um, I haven't taken any gas X yet, but uh, the gas pain is definitely real. Anesthesia really hits me, so I it makes me super tired. So pretty much since the surgery, because I didn't really sleep that well in the hospital. So when I got home Wednesday, I slept all day. Thursday, I pretty much laid around and slept on and off. Um, today, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling like I have a lot more energy, definitely up more than I was yesterday. So I've just been taking my medication and I've been um, drinking my little drinks. My husband brings me my liquids every hour or so, making sure I get my protein in and making sure, you know, I get my water in and everything. Um, I have my sugar-free popsicles. I have um, some of the Minute Maid Zero Sugar uh, Lemonade and um Thanks to my mother-in-law, she went out and got us some of the popsicles, the sugar-free popsicles and the uh, Minute Maid. So that was awesome. Um, but so far, I'm feeling a lot better than I was. Like every day gets increasingly better. Because the first couple days I was like, yo, this ain't it, this ain't it, this ain't it. Like uh, I was struggling completely um, with pain and then like, gas pain and then you know it was just a lot even for this morning being like the third day after surgery my cycle came and my cramps were on a hundred like they woke me up out of my sleep at four o'clock in the morning and I was just kind of like doubled over like what is going on but I couldn't take my pain meds until six so I kind of just had to sit in it for a couple hours until I could take my pain meds and it even still um they were still just kind of, I mean, killing me softly. I got these multivitamin soft chews because, again, I didn't think I would be able to take pills. So I got most of my vitamins as soft chews. These, um, they're disgusting. Uh, I have to hold my nose um, when I take them. And then I have to drink something immediately afterwards. And I have to take two of those a day. So um, I haven't tried my iron one and my calcium one yet, but I probably will do that today. But um, yeah, these taste like really medicine-y. It's just like when people say that your taste buds change like after the surgery, that is 100% true. But because I had read that a lot, I didn't go ahead and like pre-stock on... Um, protein shakes and stuff like that because people were like you're not going to like them your, your taste buds are going to change you just got to wait and see what you like so um I had vanilla protein shakes I mean even before I started drinking the protein shakes I was like I can't imagine drinking like the banana flavor or the strawberry flavor or the caramel that I loved before the surgery when I would think about it, I would get nauseous. So I have the vanilla one and even just the plain vanilla is like super sweet, but I'm getting used to that more. And I think I may be able to try the strawberry one. We'll see. But your your taste buds definitely change. So just be aware of that. Like don't stock up on stuff that you love before. Like you just got to wait and try different things after the surgery. So that's just my advice. But anyway, I'm doing well. I still have my my pain pump. So I have this pain pump that I have to carry around with me. And it has um, a strap and it has like the wires. And these are actually um, connected inside of me. <laughs> so I have, so like they're connected through um, one of the incisions 
in my chest so this is basically like you can kind of see it's like a hard ball once all of the medicine is done is done it'll collapse on its own and then i will be able to pull out the pull out the um the tubing from my chest so that should be interesting probably won't show that on camera but we'll see how that goes i'm trying to get my husband to do it but he's already freaking out about it so um anyway i'm doing good just wanted to come and check in um three days post-op definitely feeling better than i have been the last couple days i haven't taken any nausea medicine since yesterday morning so um doing pretty good with that definitely learning how to slowly sip like i mean you really literally have to take like such a small sip or else the liquid will get stuck and it'll just feel like pressure in your chest and then it'll go through to your stomach. It's kind of like there's like a, a stopping point from your like chest area to your stomach. Um, so you can't, you know, take the same amount of sips of gulps. Definitely not. Or else you will be in some pain. So just, you know, be careful of that. But um, yeah. We'll see how this journey goes. Excited to get started. And, you know, I'll be keeping you guys updated with new videos. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.